fine. All right. All right. Where are we going? Back to your residence. Oh, what the hell's the use of that? For a start, there are no robots there. And now you can see why. Can't you? Congratulations. All those years of mindless paranoia have finally paid off. Being paranoid made me the man I am today. That's certainly true. Switch on a news link. I give the orders right here. Remember that, Iago. Well, switch on a news link. Good idea. I'm Daniel Packard, and this is Caldor City News. Today's top story. The terror attack on the company central building. As the Church of Taran Capel claimed responsibility for the action, we ask, is enough being done to stamp out the menace of fundamentalist anti-robot groups in our midst? Later in the program, First Master Landerchild will be... There's a prick Landerchild cashing in again, the bastard. The so there's nothing Master about any robot running amok. Perhaps it was all a bluff. Here's Zala Vance with a complete rundown on today's tragic events. I'm sorry. We appear to be experiencing some technical difficulties with that particular news item. But we'll try and return to it again later. So, moving on, one man who has been a stern critic of... Oh, my God! All the humans it, must die. Uh, what what the hell's wrong with it? The humans. Help me, someone! Help me! The kill thing's the gone mad! You are all to die. Oh, bloody die. hell, Iago! This is going out to millions of viewers! It's the end I'm of everything! We're finished! We're all finished! It's never finished, Yuvanov. There's always something else. You are all to die. Controller Capel commands it. Why, what's happened? Oh, it's this place. It's doing my head in. Stent and roll, don't piss in the sink. Stent and roll, don't punch the medical staff. Stent and roll, stop using vile and obscene language. My basic human rights have been violated here. The way you're trussed up, I'm amazed you can do anything. Yeah, well, one tries, Cotton. <clears throat> one tries. So, uh, broken pelvis, is it? Not surprising when you've been thrown over a banister and onto a concrete floor. Well, strange. I mean, you're pretty well padded. It's fat, Cotton, not rubber. Look, we tried carrying you... But it would have taken too long and the Taranists were about to blow the building up. Anyway, how do you know what we did? Because I regained consciousness on the way down. Briefly. It's a good setup here, isn't it? Private room, bed, must be great. You think? Tell you what else, I only get three meals a day. And the doctor says I'm clinically obese. And she's put me on a low-fat diet. I told her clinically obese isn't what I am, it's who I am. Oh, God, she doesn't listen. Oh, well. Wow. Bought you some grapes. Well, couldn't you have managed something more substantial? Oh, well, give me a then. Well, you could have at least have fermented them first. That's another thing I'm not all right around here, booze. Well, yeah, well, I'll see if I can sneak you some in next time. Good. So, how are you getting on as head of security? Yeah, fine. Well, don't go getting too comfortable, eh? Wouldn't think of it, Stent. Because they say I'll be out of here in two months. Don't worry, Stent. Just so you know. I'm telling you, Stent. I'll be happy when you're back. I've only been in the job for a few hours and already the pressure's killing me. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> well, I suppose I'd be getting along. OK, see you then. And Cotton. Yes, then. Thanks for saving my life. 
That message Carnell left for us, what did he mean when he said that we were all being used by the Taranists? I don't think it was the Taranists that he was talking about. What he said was that we were being manipulated by something that had existed for millions of years. So what the hell does that mean? Are you sure you've got that right? Here's the disc if you want to play it again. Hello, Iago. I see you come to... Something very important to tell you. We are all, to some greater or lesser degree, being manipulated. Yuvanov, Landerchild, Raoul, Cotton, Blaze, Justina, Taran Capel, yourself, everyone, including me. We are being used. By what, I do not know. However, I can tell you that this something is very powerful and has existed for millions of years. Indeed, it has become part of us. As for its purpose, again, no answer is forthcoming. But be assured, it does not mean us well. There is, I'm afraid, very little that I can do, other than say my goodbyes and leave you all to it. So, what do you make of that? I'd say he's exhibiting all the hallmarks of a psychotic disorder. OK, so he's mad. But what was he going on about? The nature of existence, religion, mental illness, social forces, the darkness of the human heart. Take your pick. In fact, that could explain the chess game. Really? How? A retreat from the emotional and unknowable into the logical and the self-contained. You mean a kind of displacement activity? Yes, you could say that. Carnell was losing control of the real world, so he retreated into a fictional one. The game of chess was a way for him to pretend that he was still in charge. Then when the game against the robot started to go badly, it made him feel worse, so he cut and ran. What do you think of that as a rationale? Well, it certainly fits. Yes, I think that's a marvellous theory. So apart from the killer robots, then, there's nothing to worry about? Now that he's gone, no. Yes? Come in. Blaze. OK, how did you know? About what? How did you know that the robots were about to go on a killing spree? It started then, has it? Yes, it started. It's all over the news links. In that case, we have more time than you thought. With the robot revolution on their hands, company security won't be coming down into the sewer pits to search for us any time soon. It was you, wasn't it? It's you who started all this. No, Blaze, it wasn't me. Then how did you know? Taran Capel told me. Taran Capel told you nothing. Taran Capel is dead. But his testament lives on. Those discs you captured from the company's central building... They're all blank! You know that, Paulus. Taran Capel speaks to me. Then you're either a liar or you're crazy. You told me you didn't believe Taran Capel was a god. I thought we were using the Taranists. <laughs> We are using the Terranists. Then what's all this crap about you communing with a dead man? <laughs> you take everything so literally, Blaze. I knew Taran Capel. I'm trying to think the way he would think. By staring into a blank monitor? It helps me to concentrate. It blocks out distractions. I'm sorry if I've been sounding a bit mystical. It's just that I'm so used to talking with our Terranist friends, sometimes I forget myself. Then how did you know about the robots? Educated guess. Those discs you captured were blank, correct? Now, evidently they were wiped for a reason. Perhaps Capel had left instructions on how the robots could be turned into killers. You said Capel hated robots. That's right, he did. And what better way of getting rid of them than to force the company's hand like that? So, what you're saying is that these instructions have fallen into the hands of one of Yuvanov's enemies? Well, it seems likely, doesn't it? There were certainly plenty of them. And with Company Central destroyed, what better time to strike? Now, I've still got some thinking to do, so if you could, please... Yeah. Sure. She's gone. Taran Capel, are you there? Yes, brother. I am here. What are we to do with Blaze? Nothing. 
She is irrelevant. We're still going to need her combat skills. Now that you have returned... I have returned, but there is a ritual that must be performed. What kind of ritual? To live again, I require a body. A suitable donor has already been chosen. And who is this suitable donor? Christina! Ivanov, you look terrible. Are you feeling all right? No, I'm on the point of a nervous breakdown. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Well, who are you trying to call? Company Central. Company Central was blown up earlier today? Oh, damn it, of course. What are security using as the base of operations now, do you know? They should be at their secret emergency location. And where's that? I don't know, it's a secret. That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to contact them? You use the emergency code. And where do I find that? In the far marked emergency procedures. Which is where? On your desk, Ivanov. In front of you. Well, why didn't you say so? Yeah? Who's this I'm speaking to? Well, who's that? First Master Chairholder Yuvanov. Hello? Hello? Damn, I've been cut off. Try again. Company security? Was I just talking to you? Uh, no. Oh. I would like to speak to Acting Operations Supervisor Cotton. I'll just pass you through. Sir! Cotton, is that you? Yes, sir. Cotton. Put a squad together, arm yourselves with plasma rifles, and get over to Caldor City Broadcasting. Sir! When you arrive, secure the building, destroy every robot you find that's gone rogue. No, wait a minute. Keep two Vok class robots functioning. Just disable them. Oh, and make sure there's an editing facility available for use. Sir! What's an editing facility? Sir! Ask somebody when you get there! Sir! Guard squad. Is that you, Creswell? Yes, sir. Oh, bloody say so next time. Uh, sorry, sir. Issue your men with plasma rifles and put them on full alert. No one must be allowed to go in or out of these premises except Iago and myself. Sweep the compound with searchlights, and if any robots approach you, shoot them on sight. S sorry, uh, did I hear you correctly, sir? Bloody hell. Don't you watch the news links, man? Now stop arguing and do as I say. I've got the Capel discs. Now come on, Yovanov, let's go. All right, I'm with you. Will someone please explain to me what's going on? Carnell used a trigger phrase that sent all the robots mad. Carnell? I, I thought he was on our side. He was, but then Iago tried to kill him. Yovanov, we've got to go. Yes, yes. Where did this trigger phrase come from? Karen Capel. But I thought he was dead. He is dead. It was a recording. <laughs> Now shut up, stay here, and if any robots turn up, don't answer the door.